Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn. It's time to deck the goddamn halls, am I right? If you're looking for a fun DIY craft that you can do this holiday, this Christmas season, I've got just a thing for you. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah! DIY Sharpie mugs are all over the Pinterest internet. If you know Cajuns, you know that E-A-U-X is like the French version of the O sound. Thibodeau, Boudreau, Como. So I just thought ho 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 was a really cute thing to put on a mug. So to make your ho 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 holiday Sharpie mug, you will need a mug. I would not go out to like Target and buy a $3 mug. I would actually recommend you go to some place like the dollar store and get one of those cheap 99 cent mugs. The reason for this is because the glaze on these cheapy mugs ensures that when you write on it with the Sharpie and then you bake it in the oven, that it will stay. If you get these high quality mugs with high quality glazes, you run the risk of the Sharpie just coming off even if you use the correct Sharpie. Speaking of which, you have to find oil-based paint Sharpies. These paint markers are able to draw on metal, wood, pottery, rubber, glass, plastic, stone. They are expensive. Right here, 20 bucks. But hey, you can make like 75 Sharpie mugs. This is not your 99 cent Sharpie that's in your backpack. And you just shake them up like this to activate them. They come with the instructions on the pen. But yeah, make sure you get these oil-based paint Sharpies. You can always freehand the words onto the mug, but I bought some stencils. And this really helped me to keep the lettering as uniform as possible. It is not perfect because at the end of the day, it is still hand-drawn, but I did have these stencils as a guide. All right, so the directions are pretty straightforward. You just place the stencil onto the mug and using a color of your choice and the oil-based paint Sharpie, go ahead and stencil in the letters. If you mess up like I do all the time, don't worry. Just get a Q-tip or like a little paper towel and dip it in some rubbing alcohol or some nail polish remover and just scrub the mistake off the mug. It should come off pretty easily. Do not preheat your oven. Just place the mug into a cold oven and then set it to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it bake for about 30 minutes. Take it out and let it cool. And then voila! You have a Sharpie mug that's perfect for your eggnogs, your, uh, your, 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 your spiked ciders, your, your, your hot chocolates, you know what I'm saying? Your chais. It's perfect, it's cozy, it's cute, and it's all yours, all right? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Tell me if you have a favorite holiday beverage. And I'll see you on the internet somewhere. Bye!